first and foremost, I want to welcome everyone that's new, and I know there's a few new faces, um, to our inaugural NORCAT Innovation Mill Upstart Competition. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, this is a big, a big deal tonight, especially for the eight presenting companies. And I wanted to uh, just give a bit of context for those that aren't familiar with uh, what we do at the NORCAT Innovation Mill. Uh, but we serve as uh, Sudbury's designate regional innovation center, focused on helping those would-be or existing entrepreneurs sector agnostically uh, to help them grow, grow their businesses, scale their businesses, to, uh, to, to really create material jobs and wealth, not only for our community, but for the country more broadly. Uh, one of the core pillars of what we do is education around what does it mean to start and grow a business. And that uh, has culminated in the development of a program called Entrepreneurship 101. Uh, what's quite exciting about this program, it's actually been around for about six years, seven years perhaps, um, created by uh, the Mars Discovery District in Toronto, and now there's about six innovation centers across the province that do exactly what we do every Wednesday, six to seven, do a combination of in-person lectures and live web stream lectures. So the individuals tonight that are presenting, um, again, are presenting in the Upstart competition, um, are individuals that attended, I believe, 20 of the 30 lectures, submitted an executive summary to the competition, and have specifically been picked to present tonight. Uh, it is a business plan competition, so you're going to see some companies that are already generating revenue and have proven their market, and you're going to see some that have nothing beyond an idea that they want to take to market. Uh, so it's going to be a very interesting and I'll call it a challenging process for our, uh, our panel of judges. Um, for all those that are students here that didn't enter, um, I really want to, uh, I guess, take a, an opportunity to say, you know, thank you for attending. You know, a 30-week slog sometimes is a, is a pretty significant commitment for one hour, especially to drive all the way out to the northeast part of town for those that live in the south end. Uh, but what we're really hoping for tonight, and this is the last opportunity that I'll get to speak to you because you don't take the course year over year. You can if you want to take it again next year. We'll be here. Um, what we really are hoping you can do, though, is to really become uh, ambassadors of this program, promote the brand. We don't want to tell the story. We want you to tell it for us. Uh, we'll obviously be issuing a survey. I think that's already gone out. Uh, for those that, are, um, that, that uh, are getting certificates tonight, it is mandatory that you answer the survey. We will find you if you don't, because uh, we really want your feedback on what can we do better. Um, for those who are, are graduating and getting certificates tonight, uh, I would actually argue you're part of a pretty elite crowd. Uh, there's only a handful of people in the province of Ontario that are going to have this designation. Yes, it's presented by one of the regional innovation centers, but I really hope that means something. And in fact, we pride ourselves on not calling ourselves an academic institution. You know, nothing against the academic institutions, but you know, we, uh, we, we intentionally brand this as something that is outside a traditional academic institution. So you're, we're very excited about that. So how will the night work? Well, each company coming up is only going to have 10 minutes to present their pitch. And, and when I say 10 minutes, uh, you will see a very competitive side to me tonight. And to ensure that there is a high degree of fairness, when 10 minutes is up, we can do it one of two ways. We can do it the polite way, or we just turn the microphone off and we take it from you. Uh, and in fact, at an event yesterday in Toronto, that's what they did. It was a large hall. The person was talking. They just shut their mic off, and you couldn't hear them. And then you're done. So. We won't be quite as rude or quite as rigorous, but uh, to ensure fairness, you get 10 minutes. Uh, and I know a lot of the companies have spent an inordinate amount of time uh, doing that, uh, preparing for this. Uh, immediately after the 10 minutes, there will be somewhere between four and six minutes of Q&A from our judges. Uh, and I'll introduce the judges momentarily. Uh, not all judges will ask questions if not uh, needed. Uh, they're going to be tough questions. Again, this program awards $5,000 cash to be used to help further your business. So they're going to make sure they really understand, have all the insight they need uh, to make sure that the 5K is going to be you know, allocated to the right company. Um, there will be two breaks. We have pizza coming after the first two companies present. We are going to ask that you motor, get your pizza, and sit back down and eat quietly as the companies present. Uh, we're not going to take a 15, 20, 30-minute snack break. We just don't have the time. So. When I say 10 minutes, go get your pizza and sit down, it's 10 minutes. And the company will start, so hopefully you'll be there. And then on the second break, we're going to um, ask that all those, when we hand you your certificates, uh, we're going to do a quick picture in front of the backdrop. Again, we want to use that to promote for students next year to attend this. So we want to celebrate your certificates, kind of like an academic institution in some way, but uh, we want to make sure we do that. Um, okay, 
quick introduction of the, uh, of the judges. So I'm going to start on my left. Uh, here we have the director of software IT and facilities, Ed Wisniewski with NORCAT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, to his left, we have Lori Bissonnette, who's a partner with KPMG. And to her left, we have Peter Del Bianco, and most people probably know the Bianco name, so this is the legend. <laughs> um, we have three sponsors tonight, uh, and you know the, the, the prominent sponsor, and we can't think enough, is KPMG. Um, they have uh, provided significant time through access to their uh, team here in Sudbury to coach and mentor and provide insight to the companies presenting tonight. Uh, KPMG, people who work there, it's unbelievably busy, so allocating any time, helping us uh, get these companies ready is, is, is unbelievable. So we want to thank KPMG for that contribution, uh, toppers for the soon-to-be pizza arrival, and also the uh, Mars Discovery District for kind of giving us the playbook and coaching us on how to you know, pull this off so efficiently. Uh, so very excited about all of that. Um, I think I want to end just with a really, uh, a really quick story before we call up the first, uh, first company. But in, uh, I think it was 2010, when the, uh, the Upstart competition was happening in Toronto, and I think I made mention of this for those, probably the first or second lecture, uh, there was a company called Cognivision, and you can Google this, that uh, pr presented uh, in, the, in the competition, students from the University of Toronto at the time. And they, 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 they were a runner-up in the Upstart competition. Uh, started a business, still quite nascent. Um, and they were a runner-up in the competition. What was really interesting is about two, two and a half years later, they give attribution to Entrepreneurship 101 for helping them get their business off the ground, and they exited and sold their company for $35 million to Intel. So tonight, you might see one here, and that one that goes in all the way might not be the one that wins. Because you never know, it's so subjective. If we could pick winners, I'd be living in the Bahamas on a yacht, but we can't. So.